What do you think, big or small? He's small. Is it your first pike ever or first pike in Utah? First pike ever. Hell yeah, bro, good job. Oh jeez. <laughs> oh jeez. <laughs> Good morning everyone, Skitty Fishing here, and today I am fishing at this little pond here that is filled with some northern pike. Now to my local friends, I am sorry, I'm sworn under secrecy for this one, and the people who told me about this place know where I live, so yes, if you know, you know. <laughs> but uh, today I want to catch some pike on the Wasatch Tenkara Rod Psycho. This is the glow in the dark rod, we're not going to be fishing... Um, with the glow today, I do want to make a, a full video that does show that in better detail. It's actually sunrise, not sunset. I actually just tied some 50 pound braid off of the chameleon level line that Wasatch Tenkara sells. And so that's kind of the, the format. I might go more in the details on that here in a minute. And we're just using like a little uh, muddler sculpin looking fly. So I expect bumps and hopefully some hookups. I do have some other products that you'll probably notice in the video, like the sling and the net. We're gonna be making uh, separate videos on, on what those are and what they're all about. But today, like I said, if you know, you know. We might have a little bit of wind to combat, so I apologize for that. But let's see what we can catch. I actually thought this would lose water since the last time I was here, but looks like we may have gained water, if anything. There are grasshoppers all over the place. These banks are super muddy, which is why I'm wearing the waders. Right. You'll notice that I'm doing a lot of two-handed casts. That's also because this rod is kind of heavy after you cast it so much. And I'm also trying to combat the wind. See, that was a bump, that was a bump, that was a bump. Already getting bumps. Gotcha. Gotcha. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Yeah 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 yeah. Oh. Oh my lord. Oh my lord. Oh my lord. That was way bigger than I expected. That was way bigger than I expected. Don't break off, please. Oh my lord. Oh my gosh. No. No, dude. You guys, I am so heartbroken. <laughs> Did you see that? That was a huge pike. Oh, he took all my braided line. I have to take it off now. I have to add more. Dude, that was heartbreaking. Gotcha. Oh, come on. Come on, come on. Yeah, dude. Yes. Okay. Gotta figure out how to sling this thing. Yes, come on, come on, come on. Come on, get back over. Get back over, get back over, get back over, get back over. Get back over. Yes. Pike. Yeah, dude. Oh, that is fun. Hey, buddy. Yep. I forgot my pliers. Not my pliers, my, uh, what are they called? Forceps. There we go. Nice. Oh, dude, that is so awesome. All right, guys. <laughs> there we go. First pike of the morning. 
It is so sweet. He is bleeding a little bit. He chomped on that fly pretty good. I am also not a pike expert, so if anyone sees me making mistakes on pike etiquette, please politely inform me. on gotcha so you keep the rod up like this yeah nice okay this one's little really loving this sling pack Don't you even dare. Don't you even dare. <laughs> nice, dude. Heck yes. There we go. There we go. See how easy that was? I don't even think he was really all that hooked. I think he was clamped onto the line. Just wrapped around his little cute mustache. All right, guys. Well, I thought this pike was going to be smaller than uh, than I initially thought. But uh, look at this, dude. At least the handle. I mean, obviously, that's this is a small pike by anyone's standards, but how fun. There he goes, dude. That is awesome. So my buddy just texted me, Kyle, from TNT Epic Adventures. He just had a, his baby girl. She just came uh, actually about a week early. So congratulations, Kyle. That is freaking awesome. It looks like it sounds like everything's healthy and best case scenario. So couldn't be happier for your brother. And my general impressions of Psycho is pretty good so far. Um, I owned the Rodzilla and it was, gotcha. Oh, that's a big one. That's a big one. I was going to say, I own, no, it's not. It's not a big one. I owned the Rodzilla for about a year and I barely used it and it was so heavy. Um, Ruben, if you are watching this, I think a spay on that would be night and day difference. And I know you've kind of talked about it before, but, uh, you know, in, in, in addition to that, you know, I've, I've touched the Phoenix Rising. It's hella addicting to like play around with. And uh, so was the open waters. But in terms of just overall performance, I think the Psycho is the biggest rod I would ever go with Wasatch Tenkara going forward. This rod's gonna be used for probably the most unconventional style of Tenkara fishing is what I'm trying to say. And I'm okay with that. Like I really, really am. That's, that's why I want it. But I'm gonna start kind of a uh, weaning out on some of the other big rods that I have just because I'm really not putting time into them and I'd rather be, you know, using products and other things that I'd rather do. So anyway, so dude, that is so awesome. Goodbye, buddy. Thank you for playing. That's pretty shallow too. Oh, I got him. I saw him come up for it. That was wild. He's probably barely hooked though. Oh. 
I saw him and I thought he turned away. And then I was like, oh, I better just lift this up a little bit. Dude, that is freaking wild. <laughs> oh, don't lose them. Come on. Pull them. Oh, oh. That second wind is. Where are you? There you are. Is he, is he not even hooked? Oh, did you gulp it, you SOB? You SOB, did you gulp it? All right. This might require some patience, so I'll see you guys on the next clip. All right, well, we got him out. So <laughs> this fly, he's all ready to go now. That's nice. I've given him a, about a minute or so to kind of rejuvenate, but this, was all the way at the very back of his gill plate. So I actually pulled it through without touching his gills, which was a little bit strategic. I, without forceps, I used this little boom ring line cutter, but then I cut the line. So this way I didn't have to pull it back out of his mouth, thus increasing his chance of survival. So, but yeah, he looks like he is ready to go. Man. What a day, guys. Oh, oh yeah. yeah. There we go, there we go. Bend him back. Okay. Nice. Nice, dude. Hell yeah. Let's go. That was like immediate. That's a pretty one too. Yoink. I could be tied with my PB, honestly. He is out and he is ready. There he goes. Ah. Have I ever told you guys how much I love fishing. All right, guys, that was super fun. A lot of comments were made and I have no idea how much of that made it into the final cut. So let's talk about the Wasatch Tenkara Rod Psycho. In general, I am not a huge fan of long Tenkara rods. A long Tenkara rod to me exceeds 13 feet. I've never fished a 14 foot rod, but I have fished from 15 feet to basically 21 feet. So, and, and a lot of those are mostly Wasatch Tenkara rods. They do have the reputation of the big rod brand. Um, about a year ago, I owned a Rodzilla. It wasn't for me, just a little bit too heavy. I loved everything about it, but the weight. Phoenix Rising too long, Open Waters too long. Um, but that's for the Skitty Fishing Channel. That doesn't mean that those are bad rods. It's just there are times and places to use those rods. And even where I'm at right now, I don't really know if Open Waters is perfect for that. I'm saying that because I co-own an Open Waters with Brendan Harden. Uh, so, you know, we'll, we'll eventually get that out and get some, some videos with it. In fact, the very, very first catch is Brendan using it and catching it um, at the same exact pond. Now it brings us to the Psycho. So with all of those comments in mind, I love this rod. I really do. The more I use it, the more I like it. It is just a tidbit on the heavy side, but not like the Rodzilla. And I, I'm okay with that. Normally, I'm not a big fan of the EVA foam handle, but perhaps with the weight, that does kind of help with the fatigue just a little bit. So it's growing on me. It really is. Did not need to use the glow. I'm super curious of how much that would um, glow and for how long, but we're going to do a follow-up video with mousing with this rod for trout. And I'm super pumped about that. But overall, guys, I really, really do like this rod. Um, it's just, it's just unique. Line I was using wasn't even really the perfect combination. I mean, I got this chameleon level line with 50 pound braid. And, you know, with the first fish that I lost in mine, I would have done probably the reverse of that or all just braid. Actually, no, I would have only done braid if I'm being honest with you. If you guys watch my videos, you probably notice I'm fishing like a new Tenkara rod every video. I have so many that I still need to fish, but thank you guys so much for watching and all the support for the Skitty Fishing Channel. And it's been such a journey getting to this point. And I have so many epic adventures coming up, mostly with Tenkara and, uh, you know, obviously some Western fly fishing stuff, but it has been great to hang out with you guys here on on this channel so thank you for the support much love back to you and we'll see you guys on the next adventure tight lines everyone